welcome to Poetic Fitness. Today we have a body weight workout ready for you guys. 30-10 tempo, 10 moves, three times through. We're not going to dilly-dally, we're going to get right into it. But if you're not warmed up, take a quick moment, maybe five minutes, get warmed up, meet me right back here. I'm going to hit that timer. But before we start, I just want to make sure you guys click that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, be prepared to share this video because I promise everybody that you know is going to want a piece of this action. With that said, let's get started. And if you have any questions, you leave it in that comment section at the end. I will have some things in the description box, links, websites, and other stuff. Otherwise, I'm hitting play and let's get going. Timer is going to start in five seconds. The first move, I want you to have your left foot out, your right hand forward, and it's called a runner. So you're going to bring that knee up, and once you get this movement, you're going to run with one leg. So we're doing a runner. All the weight is isolated on my left. Give you a couple of different views that running motion. I've got opposite arm moving. What I mean by that is when my knee comes forward, my left arm's with it. And you pick your speed here. Four, three, two, one, break. So now we're just going to switch. We're going to put the other leg out. All the weight's going to stay in that leg. And then we're going to get going. So we're running. And this is called a runner. You can modify this movement by just slowing it down. If you have to, you can stand still and you're just pulling that knee up. Take the bend out of the leg, but once you bend that knee and you hold your body weight, it's kind of like a one-legged three-quarter squat. And you're just running through it, muscles heating up. You're going to feel it in the hamstring and the glute. Three, two, one, break. All right, next move, sumo side bends. You're going to spread your feet wide, point your toes out. Get your base low enough to where when your knees bend, the knees still stay directly over your ankles. Hands behind the head, and we're going left and right. Elbow to knee if you can make it there. You want to have your posture up. Try to keep your chin up and your chest out. And if you need to modify here, you straighten those legs, and you're just doing a side bend. Or you can do a side bend and squat in between. Four, three, two, one, break. All right. Next move, we've got a hybrid push up on the right. You're going to stand on your right foot and we're going to walk out. So you're going to put your hands down nice and controlled, walk out to a plank. If you can do the push up, add it. If not, walk it on back. This can be done on both feet. You're just going to do it twice for us because we're going to alternate feet. So we walk out, push up, walk back, up. Walk out, push up. And it's called a pirate plank. Three, two, one, break. I was lifting my knee in between the movements to add a little core and balance. You can do that if you feel like it. If not, you don't have to. Now we're on the left leg. So again, control your hands down, walk it out, push up if you're feeling it, or no push up. Come back up, bring the knee up for balance, walk it out. Push up, walk it back, great job. Again, the modifier for this, both feet down, walk out to a plank, and do the push up if you want, or walk back. Two, one, break. All right. Next move is a cross country skier or a shuffle run. I'm going to put opposite hand and foot out, and then we're just jumping and switching. So you've always got the opposite arm and leg out in front of you, and those are moving alternating. You can shorten the movement to a short shuffle run. You can just step or Keep hopping. Less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, break. Next move on the list, squat jacks. So what it is, 
It's a jumping jack squat. I'm touching the ground, but I'm keeping my chin up and my chest up. You can just go knees to elbows. If you go to the ground, you still have to lean to keep your posture. Modifier, step and squat. Step and squat. Or keep hopping. Again, knees to elbow, fingers to the ground. You just pick your poison. Two, one, break. All right, what's next? We've got a crab touch. So we're gonna be down in a crab position. Full version, nice control and touch. Control and touch. If you don't have control yet, you're gonna, your tendency will be to make it real fast. Just try and slow down body weight control. Modifier, butt on the ground, alternating, alternating. Otherwise, we're up here with our butt off the ground and we try to get nice control. Two, one, break. All right. Next move is a jackknife. So we're in a plank. And what we're doing is we're bringing our knees in and back out. In and out. You pick your hop, modifier, step, 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 step. Otherwise, I want you hopping. Nice control on the body weight here. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. All right. Here we go. Break. Sorry. Uh, we have some viewers watching, unexpected viewers. Next move is a juggler. Knee, knee, heel, heel. Knee, knee, heel, heel. As you get the rhythm, pick it up. You can start to hop. You can start to move quicker. But your modifier always would be stepping because we want to keep moving. As long as you can stay in the movements, we got this. Two, one, break. First round done. We're going to go back to the top with the runners. So in three, left foot out, two, one, we're running. I got the opposite arm and leg going. Keep breathing, pump oxygen through the nose, out the mouth. Fill those lungs up. You control the pace here. You can stay with me on my speed. You can speed it up supersonic. Slow it down if you need to. Read your body, but always push yourself. Break. Always push. You've always got more in, 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 in you than you think. Other side, I got my right foot forward, my left arm out, and I'm running. Again, as this movement progresses on the timer, you're gonna really start to feel it on that back of the hamstring and right behind the glute. Enjoy the burn, absorb the burn, embrace the burn. Oh, because it's hot. Oh, that's a burn. Three, two, one. Okay, next move, sumo side bends. Get those knees out, feet sideways, chin up, chest out. And we're going knee to knee, knee to knee. Remember your modifier would just be standing up without the knees bent, just doing a side bend wherever your range of motion will allow you to go. Otherwise, we're sitting here in this squat hold position, working the core, working the bleaks. Oh, bleaks, I should say. Two, one, break. All right. It's time to walk the plank. On the right foot, I got my left one up behind me. Nice control, I'll walk it on out. Push up, walk it down. Bring the knee up. Go down, walk it out, push up. Don't forget, modifier. Don't do push ups if you don't want. Or put both feet down. 
You don't have to make the balance move. Four, three, two, one, break. All right, we're on the left foot now. We lean forward, we can walk it out. Push up, walk back. One of them. Don't forget, you don't have to lift the knee. It's just a way to spice the move up and add a little core into the balance. If you're losing your balance on the movement, take a deep breath. Tighten your core and slow down. Get your balance before you go into the push up. Get your balance. We got four, three, two, one. All right. Somehow I have completely gone crazy. And now we're going to be on cross country. Let's get it going. may have messed the timer up a little, but it doesn't matter because you guys are absolute beasts. Five seconds left on this cross country. Two, one, break. Nice work. Okay, squat jacks. Five, four, three, two, one. Touch the floor if you can still keep your posture up. Otherwise, go to the knees. You just don't want to lean completely forward on the squat. Make sure your chin's up, chest is out, and you're keeping good posture. Get your feet comfortable, weight in the heels. Weight in the heels. Five seconds. Three, two, one, break. All right, guys, we're getting it. Going down to the crab position. And remember, you can do this crab staying with your butt on the ground. Otherwise, lift the butt up. Full version. Full version. Nice control. Now, you can do this fast and keep switching, but you're losing that body weight control that you get when you gracefully reach out and touch that toe. Oh. Ooh. Got my camera crew back there doing an amazing job. Break! All right, guys, what do we got next? Next on the agenda, jack knife down in the plank, and here we go. We're bringing the knees in, knees out, knees in, knees out. Don't forget, step it if you need the modifier. Otherwise, keep hopping, keep hopping. Now, if the stepping and hopping is too much, you can just hold the plank. Otherwise, I want you to try to see if you can get the steps going. Dig deep, take a deep breath, and push through. We got five, three, two, one. Great work. Okay, last move of the second round. Four, three, jugglers, two, one. Here we go, we're juggling. We're juggling. Dig deep, take deep breaths. Deep breath through the nose, out the mouth. Fill the lungs up. If you have to st stop the jumping and step it, feel free. Three, two, one. Last round, we're gonna get it. Runner on the right, left foot out, right arm out, pick your pace. Another adjustment on this runner, people tend to wanna to be upright. The more you lean forward, the more weight it puts on the leg that's not moving, therefore making the movement harder. So the more you lean down on it, the, the more pressure you get back here, the more bang you get for your buck. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Catch your breath. Get water, towel when you need it. Otherwise, in two, one, we got the right leg out. 
Running on the left. Running on the left. Here we go. I think we got this. I'm pretty sure we got this. Again, modifier, I guess, would be to stand up a little more straight to take the weight off the leg. Otherwise, the further forward you lean, the harder it's gonna be for that muscle, especially in this isometric. Two, one, break. And this leg is the isometric, because it's not moving. In five seconds, sumo, side bend. At this point, you guys know this move and you're professionals. You don't need me to tell you what to do anymore. We're just gonna sumo side bend. And on this one, use this one to catch your breath. Take some deep breaths. Recharge. Recharge. Five seconds left. Two, one, boom. Boom. Okay. Pirate push up. Arr, I can't seem to find me booty. Oh, there it is. Walk it out. Push up. Walk it back. Once you've got this movement and you feel like you're in control, you can speed it up and you can get that thing moving. But don't speed the movements up until you have your balance. It's a challenging movement on one leg. Five, three, two, one, break. Other leg, here we go. If you have a towel nearby, get it during your break. Get a wipe, back in it, on the left foot, walking it out, push up, walking it back, knee up. Now if you do like I did, and you start to wobble a little and use your balance, lose your balance, just slow down. It's okay to wobble. You just won't catch your balance if you keep trying to go through the movement. Flex your core, focus. Four, three, two, one, break. Okay. Cross country skier. So we got the left foot out, the right arm out. We got our ski poles, and we're rolling. We're rolling. Keep on breathing, and dig deep. Just in case you want to see it from this side, it's what it looks like from the left. From the back. From the front. Break. Good work. Okay, last, not last move. Next move, squat jacks. Right here, chin up, chest out. You're gonna lean forward some, just fight it. Don't let your body just bend straight over. Fight it. Fifteen. At this point, if you're getting tired and you need to start using modifiers, whatever you've got to do to keep in this workout. Two, one, break. Because if you can keep moving during the time limit, you're going to see lots of results. We got a crab. Get ready, we're on it. Crab toe touch. Nice control. When your hands are on the ground, if you have tender wrists, you can point your fingers out sideways. Otherwise, put your hands how they naturally feel comfortable. They may feel good pointing forward or backwards or on the fist. You just gotta choose what works for you. Five seconds, three, Two, one, up to our feet. And then back down to the hands. We've got a plank jackknife. So here we go, knees in, out, in, out. Now if you need to just slow it down, you just pause in between each jump. Catch your breath. But again, you push yourself, challenge yourself you're always going to get stronger and better. What do we 
we got seven seconds. Two, one. Woo! Last move. Last move. You guys are doing great. From what I can see, it looks like you've got perfect form. Jugglers, start out with the step. Otherwise, juggle, juggle, dig deep here. Remember, when you push through these challenging movements, that's going to make you mentally stronger and physically stronger. But you only push when your body can do it. It's okay to take breaks. It's okay to modify. Three, two, one. Woo! Now you should definitely be out of breath. Probably sweating like me. If you're not, that's fine. Either way, just remember, body weight moves. You're going to always try to push. Listen to your body. Don't do something that hurts. If it's challenging, that's different than pain. But that's kind of the fine line that you'll have to figure out on your own. If you have trouble figuring out those lines, you need a little personal hands-on, check the description box. You'll find my website there. I offer virtual one-on-one -on -one training. If you need hands-on, if these instructional videos like this aren't enough and you really need somebody to focus in on your personal goals, give me a shout. See if I can help you out. Check the links in the, in the description bo box. I will have the website. I will have my email address. I'll have a link to the merch shop. And thank you so much for your time today. Great work. We appreciate you here at Poetic Fitness. Now, don't forget, share this with everybody you know. Like, subscribe, and please comment. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you want. If there's something that anyone out there, a, a workout you're looking for, let me know. And I'll try and get it out there for you. We'll try and make it happen because I want to make sure that I'm a resource you can use. If you want it, I'll try and get it out there. Thanks so much for your time. And, uh, you know, keep up the good work. See ya.